Hi there again. Welcome back to my channel on going mainstream with Linux. Today we're going to be discussing the email client that comes default with most Linux distributions. It's Thunderbird. It's made by the Mozilla organization, which also makes Firefox browser. I also want you guys to be aware that if you don't have the latest version of Thunderbird, like I did, I went ahead and followed their instructions to get the latest version which is 24.1.0 so let's go ahead and do the demonstration let's go to the menu go to internet and select Thunderbird Mail to set up a new email account you just click on the email icon and we're not going to be using these providers so I'm going to skip that and use an existing email account I have a Yahoo account and I'm just going to be using that for demonstration purposes so I'm going to click on continue and it's found incoming and outgoing server information for Yahoo and I'm going to click on done and then it should go ahead with the process of downloading all the email from that account into my local Thunderbird account that process is going to take some time so I'm going to pause the video Okay, it looks like the download is about ready to complete. Alright, so it's told me I've received 440 new messages. So before I do that, I would like to go in and set up a signature. To do that, I'll go to Edit, Account Settings select my email and in this box here I will type in my signature information my name and my company in bold so I'm going to use the HTML format to do that I'm just following these instructions here and then I'm going to click on use HTML and I also have the option of attaching a signature from a file instead and attaching my V card to my messages so I can set up a V card type in some numbers here and I'll set it up as HTML so I'm gonna click on OK and then I'm gonna click on OK again and when I go into my messages I can take one of my messages let's see and I can reply to it and you can see that my signature will show up at the bottom but it's not in the exact format I'd like it to be so I will probably, if I were using uh, 
Thunderbird, I would probably use a signature card that I would in import in so I don't have to do this. So I could send a message to this person. by clicking on send but for now I'm just going to save the message so if I close out of here and if I go to drafts I'll see here's my message and I can see it's, it's very simple if I wanted to save the message I'll just click on send but I don't want to send it to this person at this time so I'm gonna leave it the next thing I want to do is I want to add on some additional functionality so I'm going to go to the add-ons manager if I go to the add-ons manager I'll see that there are some add-ons already here uh, one thing that I want to add on if I click on get add-ons is this calendar application here and it's called lightning if I click on that it will give me some information about lightning so it allows me to schedule my events in the calendar if I click on add to Thunderbird I'll be prompted to install now so I'll go ahead and install now and then at the very top it will say that it will be installed after I restart Thunderbird so I'll restart now and if I take a look at my extensions I'll see lightning was added and we can see the description of what lightning is and you'll notice at the very top these two icons appear here this one is for the calendar tab so now I can add some calendar events here so say I want to add an event for Wednesday I can highlight Wednesday and then click on the event icon and say I want a test appointment and say I want the time uh, for 5 p.m. let's make it p.m. And then let's actually add some invitees. If there was someone that I wanted to add whose contact information I had and who was part of this Thunderbird uh, email, I would be able to see their schedule here. So if you were using this for business, this would be sort of like Microsoft Office Exchange. You can see the schedule and plan accordingly. So if I click on OK, I'll get out of here and I'll save and close the event. And I'll see that the event shows up here. So it's one of the events in the next seven days. And let's also add a task. So let me add a new task. So let me add a test task and I will call this business and I'm just going to have the start date today or actually I'll have the start date yeah I'll have it today and then the due date I'll have it Wednesday. So I'll just describe it as follow up on 
Adele, you waiting? Email client. If I wanted to add an attachment, I could uh, add, easily add an attachment. Um, I could add the web page of that link location. And uh, I could also mark this task a public event or a private one. But I'm going to click on Save and Close. So now I have the tasks that show up on this pane here, as well as my calendar on this uh, section here. And they also show up as icons here, so I can easily go to the test task here. So if I go to the test task, uh, it now has the focus. It's in the middle pane, and on the right-hand side is the events pane. So it allows me to have a preview of everything. So my appointment shows up on Wednesday here. So this is a preview of what Mozilla Thunderbird looks like as an email client. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I haven't used it extensively yet compared with Evolution because I've been using Evolution for about three weeks now. Um, I'm going to have an evaluation of both, but so far uh, in the time that I've used both, they both seem equally uh, up to the task for any business that wants to use this, especially small businesses, for email clients. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.